So in this video here, we're going to take a look at how we can do auto annotation with the new SAM2 model and also how we can combine it with Autolytics YOLO 11. So this is pretty much how we can do auto annotations. We don't have to do our manual labeling where we have to draw these polygon zones. Now we can use these models where we can basically just click on a single point and it will extract the whole object. It will give us the mesh and then we can use the YOLO model and so on. We can either train the YOLO models, but we can also directly just give it the classes. So this can save a ton of time for manual work and so on when we do these annotations you've probably tried it before where you need to label all your data set bounding boxes is fairly easy but once we want to do instant segmentation it takes a long time so let's just jump straight into it and see how we can use the same two model to do auto annotations with autolytics so we're just jumping straight into the autolytics documentation if we go inside our models tab we can both see we have the new yolo 11 model but also the same Two. We already have a video where we cover like how to run inference with the meta sam 2 model and also mobile sam and those as we have over here to the left where we just barely just run inference, talk about the model and so on. So if you're interested in more details about the model, definitely check that video out. But here we can basically see that it just segments out anything. So same stands for segment anything model and they also have this new version 2. So if you scroll a bit further down, we can see that we have this unified model architecture real-time performance, zero shot generalization and so on, but that's more for the model details. If you scroll a bit further down, we can then go down and see how we can use it for auto annotation. I've just downloaded a data set where we just have cards that we want to segment out, and I'm going to show you how we can do that pipeline. So this is how we can use SAM2. If you scroll a bit further down, this is the segmentation with prompts. Segment everything, we'll just segment every single pixel in the whole image, but we can also specify regions that we want to segment objects within, but also just a single point, and it will extract the whole object. Here we have a SAM2 comparison versus YOLO 8, and now we get down to the fun part for this video is auto annotation. So basically just how can we use the SAM2 models to speed up the whole annotation process so we don't have to do this manual work. So this is very good. The SAM2 model is good at tracking through video sequences as well. So if you want to use it for that, that is also very helpful. So it does the tracking, both the detection, tracking, and we'll have the mask through multiple images in a video sequence. So this is how we can use it with Autolytics. So we have autolytics.data.annotator, and then we can import auto underscore annotate. Then we just call this functionality here. It's going to take care of all of it. I'm going to show you in just a second when we run it. So auto annotate, we specify the path to our images that we want to label our detection model. So that could be the new YOLO 11 model and also which of the same models we want to use. This is the argument that we can throw into it. We can also run it on GPU if it's available or it's just going to run on CPU. Then we can specify the output directory. So we're going to take our whole folder of images throw it through the model, do the auto annotation, and then have an output folder. We can then take that output folder and train our own custom models. That could be a YOLO 11 model for instance segmentation. So this is pretty cool. Let's just jump straight into the code editor and see how we can use it. So we open up the code editor. I've just copy pasted this code snippet in and we can specify all the different values. So we have YOLO 11, there we go. And we can just go with the medium model for now. We have the same two model as well. And again, we're just going to use the base model. Now we just need to specify the image path. I just have a data set here that I'm going to pull up. So I just have a bunch of images of cars. So I'm just going to open some of the examples. So we want to use the same two model to go in and segment out these cars. So we don't have to do all the manual work. It will take a long time if we have like tens, hundreds of images that we need to label. So just have these images here. I'm just going to specify the path so that's inside a directory called cars and then also so this is the same directory as the python file so cars and then we have images so that's pretty much everything we should be good to go now we can open up a new terminal there we go i'm going to activate my conda environment so you can see how easy it is and we just run the python file auto.py it's going to take care of all the models it will download them automatically and open up this auto annotation tool first of all it's going to download the yolo 11 model it's going to download the same two base model as well. So it's just going to do that automatically the first time. Then it will be in your directory and it will open up after that without downloading. So now we can see it's basically just running. So it's just doing all the predictions. It takes around 100 milliseconds to both run it through the same two model, but also the YOLO model. So this is pretty awesome. So it's basically just running it through all of them now doing these auto annotations. We have 69 
images and then we can go in and take a look at the output results so this can save you a ton of time it's basically just you can see it's detecting 12 cars 7 cars 10 cars 10 cars and so on and it only takes 100 milliseconds if you had to label all of this manually like it will take probably 10 minutes to just label a single image and if you have like hundreds of images this can save you a significant amount of time like it can save you hours of labeling and labeling is not really fun to do either we can always go in and supervise it go in and correct the labels and so on but this is a really good tool just to get our data set up and running so now it's done processing all the images we can then go inside our directory and we have this output directory you can also specify it as an argument if you want to save the images somewhere else but now we have images underscore auto annotate underscore labels so it's now just open up this folder here and it's going to take a look at it we just have these text files with all the annotations and if we just open one of them up we basically have it in the yellow format so this is pretty much taking care of all of it so we have the classes and we also have the labels for our objects so this is pretty cool this can be used for a ton of different use cases and applications so first of all here we have our object and then we have all the points for our class so if you just make it a bit bigger we can see we have all these values here this is basically for a polygon zone so it's basically just detecting a car and then inside that bounding box it feeds that through the same two model then it's going to do the polygon and here we can see all the polygon values in the yellow format so these are normalized with respect to the image dimensions as well so here we see we have this label 2 so that's a, either like a car or truck and then we have all the polygon points and if we scroll a bit further down we can then see we have another object here and all the polygon points so this is pretty much taking care of all of it we can now take our labels so we have our labels and we have our image directory that's everything that we need to go in and train our own custom yolo 11 models so we have our images our labels we can then divide them into our train test and validation split or you can also have the multiple folders yourself and then just run these three folders through this also annotation tool and then once you have that you basically just need to have it in this format so we have your test you have your train and you have your validation we'll then have our data yaml file which we're just going to throw into the train function from autolytics and that's pretty much it we have videos covering like how we can train the new yolo 11 model on a custom data set so basically just use this take your data set throw it through the auto annotation tool export it throw it into either like the autolytics hub for training into google colab notebook hit train with the new yolo Lin model export it use it in your own applications and projects so that's pretty much it i hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos until then happy auto annotating